speaker today is Sandy Nascimento. Uh, she's a postdoctoral researcher and she's involved in a joint project between a company called Brass Chem and University, the Federal University of Alagoas. Her background, background is in physics, but uh, her research focuses on the characterization of various materials, including carbon quantum dots, metallic nanoparticles, surfactants, and microplastics. Um, she's going to give a presentation of title Women in Colors, and she will talk about the broad overview of the role of women in science throughout history, and then her personal account of her own experiences as a woman in science nowadays. So thank you, Sandy. Hello, good morning. Um, my name is Sandy Nascimento. I'm postdoctoral researcher at UFAO, and I'm physics physician. I'm talking about careers in science, careers in science, research, education, and diversity. And I'll talk about it a little bit in my history and the, how can I get here. Sometimes I switch it to Portuguese, sorry, because the English is not my original lingua and I'm not so fluent. But I structured my presentation into who, I, who am I? Who am I as a person, not only academic and professional? And talk about woman, women in colors. Why women in colors? Because I wanted to talk about uh, different women, women, about uh, black scientists, about uh, Brazilian scientists, and I, I'm, it's hard because I love, I, I, I admire many women in science, but I choose four. Mileva Marik, Catherine Johnson, Valerie Thomas, and Barbara Carini. Barbara Carini is a Brazilian scientist. I'll talk about my history, personal history, and my work. I talk a little bit about opportunities for young scientists, mainly here in Brazil, but in all places, and the things. Who am I as a person? I love books and music, and Michelle saw yesterday, I'm crazy, Feira do Livro da USP. <laughs> It's wonderful, but I love music too. I, I don't play anything. I, I think it's fantastic someone who play guitar or any instrument, but I don't play nothing, but I love music. I, I wake up with, wow, what, what music is today? And play music, <laughs> always, always. And I am passionate about learning and about study and about laboratory experimental and sometimes to do, I don't know, fazer contas, <laughs> calculate. I love it, this. And it's a hard way to, to accept for me. I love this because sometimes the people say it's so boring and uh, sometimes I, I, I was excluded because uh, I'm a stranger, I'm so nerdy. <laughs> but uh, now, now I'm, I'm quite well with this. I love parties and uh, sometimes people say you are 30, you, you don't have to go to a party, but I love, I, I go. And I stay alone too because sometimes you you need to recharge, recarregar, recharge is yes. And I am in experimental physics, so I always stay in laboratory in experimental in, with um, instruments and vidrarias, glass, chemistry glass. I love this. And I always take photo, as you can see here. <laughs> and I'm Alice's mom. She's 12 years old. She's uh, young. 
anymore. I love many things beyond the physics and the professional stuff. I'm a person too. Um, women in college, I'll talk about this some I choose. As I said, it's hard because I, I, I read about many scientists and women, about artists too, but I choose some of them. Mileva Marik, she was a physicist in math. She was a person with a disability, pessoa com defici com defici deficiência. I don't know if he say le like this in English. Yes, person with a disability. The only woman among fellow students at Zurich Polytechnic, and the second woman to finish a full program of study in the Department of Math and Physics. And when you, when you think about now, in Brazil, this doesn't change too much. My, in my studies, sometimes we are two or three in the class. So it's, it's, it's sad. It's hard and it's sad to, to see nothing changes at all. And we, only the, we continue to be the only woman in the class. Her studies include differential, integral, calculus, geometry, mechanics, phys a theoretical physics and the applied, experimental and the astronomy. In, maybe you know, in 95, three articles who, who was applied by Einstein, né? Einstein, which began three very important to physics, the theory of Brownian motion, the photon theory of light, and the theory of relativity, uh, theory of relativity, <laughs> which the last one is very famous, and all the time you, you listen about how genius is Albert Einstein, but the author of these three articles, an unknown person at the time, Name was Einstein and Merity. Merity is the name of Mileva Merrick. But today, we only know Albert Einstein. Why? And we, I, I'm so... Eu vou mudar para o português, porque, because I want to express myself. É tão revoltante que a gente só conhece Albert Einstein e ainda escute dizer que esse, esse ano, this year, is a miracle year. Mas não existe miracle in, in, in science. E, e ninguém se pergunta sobre isso. A gente faz ciência, a gente sabe que é, a importância né, da, de confrontar fake news, negacionismo. E por que a gente continua falando sobre o ano do milagre? E é miracle year. Não existe isso na ciência. E esse ano do milagre só aconteceu porque tinha outra pessoa que foi apagada. Sorry. So she, what, let, me, let me see because does, did everybody understand? Because some, someone turn, turned on the uh, translation. People who don't speak Portuguese understood what, what Sandy said. Okay, good. But uh, because I will you can you can speak a little bit more slowly. Okay. When, you speak, when we switch to Portuguese, try to go more slowly. Because uh, I I, I want to express the emotional <laughs> and the English is hard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, come back to English. My revolted reference to Anu's Mirabel's papers is there are no miracles in science.
The other one is Katherine Johnson. She she's in the movie for Wednesday or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yes, she was mathematician during her third, 33 year career at NASA and before work she earned a reputation for complex manual, manual calculation. One of the first African-American women to work at NASA, Johnson work included cal calculated air traffic and the, this is incredible because I I switch it to Portuguese again. Because the o tráfico aéreo que conhecemos hoje só é possível por conta dela. A gente não sabe disso. Não não se falam sobre isso. Quando eu descobri, eu fiquei chocada. É algo importante. O tráfico aéreo só funciona como conhecemos hoje por conta da Catherine. Um, Trajectories, launch windows, and the emergency return path. So, all, all, all this history about the space flights for the moon, for the space, is because of her too. Her recognition and the other colleagues, black woman in, in this time at NASA, was possible due to another great black woman, who is the author Margot Lee. I switch it to Portuguese again, because hoje a gente só sabe sobre elas, a gente só tem um filme, porque uma escritora negra foi lá na NASA, olhou a papelada, estudou, olhou, estudou, study and research about the black woman in NASA, e descobriu a história delas. Se não fosse por isso, a gente até hoje não sabia que a viagem até a Lua foi por conta de mulheres negras que estavam lá calculando as rotas, as trajetórias. Então, isso é... é it's sad. And Valerie Thomas, she is a data scientist and the inventor. She was one of the two women majority in physics at the time. She developed a real-time computer data system to support satellite operation control centers, and she invited the illusion transmitter as a patent, que switch to Portuguese, que seria o precursor para o 3D que conhecemos hoje. Então, ela, she is the inventor about the illusion transmitter. Dr. Thomas works as a teacher at Dubois High School, developing young people interested in science and helping inspiring students on the remotorship. She is a pioneer on computer data system and imaging process, like so many other fields, that it is still dominated by cis white men. And the last, but not less important, Barbara Carini, she is a Brazilian scientist. She is chemistry and a philosopher too, researching on chemistry teaching education, chemistry education. She promotes science on social media and encourages young black Brazilians to pursue their dreams and rights. She is the author of several, several books, including Descolonizando Saberes, História Preta das Coisas, Como Ser Um Educador Antirracista, anti Among Other Titles. I'm a huge fan and appreciate all the support she provides for a young black academics and the woman too. But now I, I change to the great scientists in the world to talk about a, bit, a little bit about my difficulties. Sometimes it's hard to talk about this because my way it's not uh, so easy. And uh, after that, I talk about my work, my passionate, my 
laboratory experimental my my career professional at all so my academic history i mean gradu graduate at chemistry technique graduate at physics master in physics phd in physics and the, now i'm postdoctoral research in physics too but i don't have a favorite I love chemistry, I love physics too. <laughs> and the, I, I talk about the, um, uh, 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 yes, <laughs> I will switch to Portuguese, but I want to talk about the, uh, a time, a, a interval of time, it's hard to me. It was when I begin to graduate in physics, I discover, I, I don't know, I discovered, switch to Portuguese, que estava grávida, and I became pregnant in the first year, my undergraduate student at physics. I took a break because I have a baby, and I don't have head de apoio, support, I don't have people support, and um, then I returned to continue. I had to navigate life as a solo mother, my solo. And my daughter relying solely on research scholarship. So, eu vivi praticamente de, de bolsa. Eu dependia da bolsa para criar minha filha, para sobreviver. É, university they care. Eu usei da creche que tinha na época, creche escola. Então, só foi possível por conta dessas duas coisas. De um scholarship, research, research scholarship, and the university they care, a creche escola da universidade. Só por causa disso. Se não fosse isso, eu não tinha a mínima condição de continuar. É, e assistência from colleagues, sharing housing with other, other people. Ah, é. Por um tempo, eu dividi a casa com mais duas, três pessoas. Então, era eu, uma criança, mais duas outras pessoas. Não eram amigos, pessoas conhecidas, mas que no caminho me ajudaram de certa forma, mas foi muito, muito difícil. While the wet times, I needed to take a break. Várias vezes eu precisei parar, porque eu não conseguia, porque não tinha dinheiro para alimentação não tinha dinheiro para as necessidades básicas, então tinha que trabalhar. And contrary to all, what many people say, I always return it. Então muita gente ficava, ah, ela não vai voltar. Ela não vai voltar. Ah, parou de novo, não vai voltar. E now I think qual a necessidade dessas frases? Porque você vê alguém passando dificuldade e você chega para a pessoa e fala, ah, não vai voltar. Ah, não é para você não isso. <risos> não, não entendo até hoje. Eu, hoje eu estou em outra, outra linha da profissão, né, mais à frente, e, e eu me vejo num local que eu nunca diria isso para ninguém. E eu não entendo por que as pessoas diziam coisas assim. Então, but the, there are many difficulties in my way, but maternity and the financial problem is the hard to all my way. Now I'm, I'm quite happy because I just, I'm here, I'm talking to you, and I, I work with my love. In my family, no one goes to the university. I'm the first to go to the university. I'm the first to have master degree, to have PhD degree, to talk in English. I'm the first <laughs> in my family. And it's, it's very, I'm very happy. But I'll talk a little bit of my work. I love to study materials, and now I, I work with Carbon quantum dots. I, I, I think you, you listen about quantum dots a lot because of the Nobel Prize for chemistry. But 
carbon quant dots is a little different. I work with surfactants, metallic nanoparticles. This is a gold nanoparticles. Construction and demolition waste, all the different material. <laughs> but it's, it's a challenge and I like it. Microplastic too. And I invite someone to collaborate to present me another material to study together. I, I, what, what I study in this material? I study, in general, I study the spectrum. The spectrum from infrared to ultraviolet through the visible tool. And I, I see all the characteristics, properties, chemistry and physics about these materials and try to apply after that. So I study the meeting between light and matter. Quando un photon connece un electron. It's, it's not me, it's Feynman. <laughs> but it's sad to me too. And I present some work that I publish in my, with my colleagues in laboratory. The first one of, about the carbon dots is this temperature dependence. We study how temperature changes some properties in carbon dots. If you can see, you, you put, oh, wait. Take off the, the bar. Andy? Hide, 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 go up. No, 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 but there, there, you have it there. Now, now go tight loading meeting control. There. This? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you can know more about this work, you read the QR code. And we, we use ketosan to, f to prepare carbon dots. And ketosone is a molecular provide ketin, and the ketin we we find in some crustaceous crustaceous like this. And after we synthesize the carbon dots from walks, red, prop red propolis walks too. It's this walk is is a waste and the, nobody uses in the industry or, or the prof professional. And the, we take these walks and synthesizing carbon dots. The next one was a challenging paper because we have many different professionals, <laughs> biology, people from, from biology, people from chemistry, and it's chaos because everyone talks about sometimes the same thing, 
but in different way, and it's hard to understand, and it's a challenging paper, but it's here. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you know more about it, read this QR code, and we studied the, how temperature change the carbon dots, and with this change, we can use it in some biological applies. And we, here, here is carbon dots from who don't know that is a carbon dot. The carbon dot is really, really, really tiny and it has turned to three nanometers, three, four nanometers. And this is a photoluminescence properties and we, we study the change of photoluminescence in different temperature, the absorption to the spectrum of FTI air, I, I don't know, infrared, infrared in spectroscope, and the cell viability with one temperature and the other temperature. And we can see there are some changes as we can see in the photoluminescence spectroscopy properties. And we can see a micros Florence microscope that change is visible too. Uh, before, the changes, it's some blue points of carbon dots. And after that, we can see a red point because of the, the change by the temperature. And the other one is how we, we study for a while, for, for time, uh, how temperature changes the property of carbon dots. And I think, why don't understand about pH medium, o pH do meio? And we study that. We, we study the pH medium about it. Many, many carbon, different carbon, carbon dots, because carbon dots is not in, the same for all. Um, a depender do precursor, o carbon dot final muda. Então, we, we try many carbon dots, type of carbon dots, and the, this one was incredible because the carbon dots change not only the intensity, but the emission wavelength too. This is so incredible because when you read it in literature, it's difficult to see a carbon dot who, who, <laughs> the carbon dot which is changing the intensity, oh my God, change the intensity, but change the wavelength too. It's hard to, to find this. And we, we find it. And the, as you can see here in this photo, we excite in different wavelengths. And we see in pH 2, there are some colors, blue, blue, and after that, green. But in pH 12, the basic one, we have blue, but in 400, 400? 400 nanometers of wave excitation wavelength, we see the green, and the, we can understand why this happened. So, I made some of characterization, this material, and the microscope, the ten, ten. transmission electronic microscope, about the size and the, the morphological, and the not change at all, but the aggregation and dispersion of this material changes a lot, and the functional groups changes too. We, we saw this about the infrared absorption. And after that, what can do with these changes? We made a, a photostability test like in 60 days, and we can see the blue light continues and not 
not decrease the intensity, and the, this is a good property for ink counterfar. Is um, antifalsificação, tinta antifalsificação. And we we write the gone. Gone is the group I work in, optical and nanoscopy group. And we can see the in the light in common light, we can see any marks. But when you put the UV UV light, you can see the right. In this work, we we win a certificate for excellence in the paper in this year. And now I, I study a junção, a junção of materials I, I've, I've been studying since the master's degree is carbon dots and sulfactants. And I, I try to use carbon dots to determine the CMC. CMC is a critical missile concentration that for industry, for uh, synthesis of nanoparticle, mainly metallic nanoparticle, is very important to know what, what is the critical missile concentration. And for some surfactant, it's hard to discover what is the CMC, and I try to use carbon dots to discover the critical missile concentration in the, what is the incredible, I vou falar em português. <laughs> o que foi incrível é que ele não marcou apenas a primeira CMC, because the surfactant has two CMC, the first one and the second one, but he, ele marcou a primeira, E a segunda também, e a segunda é muito difícil, é muito difícil, e as poucas medidas, as poucas, os pouco, as poucas instrumentações que existem são muito difíceis, it's very hard and very expensive, são muito caras. E com o carbon dot, e carbon dot pode fazer de qualquer coisa orgânica, de folha, uma das professoras que a gente trabalha, ela fez de esterco de vaca, carbon dot de esterco de vaca, então... Com tudo orgânico dá para fazer. Não é um material caro, não é difícil, difícil assim. Exige um, uma certa técnica, mas não é tão difícil de, de sintetizar. E a gente observou que consegue marcar a primeira e a segunda CMC. Então isso foi fantástico. A gente está aí under revision, sob revisão da escrita, mas I'm so happy with this work too. And I, I want to share some opportunities for young scientists and Latina in STEAM looking for digital media assistant. So anyone from Latin America, it's, it's a, and pode se candidatar. <laughs> the Claridon Fellowship for Master and PhD studies in various uh, various areas of physics, biology, chemistry, examination. I don't know how can I say concurso in English, but I, I, I put the examination for a professor at the university open to Amapá, Campina Grande, Unifesp, UF, say, Feira de Santana, obrigada, Pará e a Rural de Pernambuco, Estão abertas. And some trainee from GSL Group, Rene Group, too, Eletrobras, Leroy Merlin, and CBO Group. Trainee is more for the graduate study and the master studies. And I want to thank you to you. Uh, if you can contact me, the email and my Instagram for science, it's a, a, a bit paused now, but maybe one day I come back. And I want to thank you to all my colleagues in nanoscopy and optic group. In here, I study my PhD degree, and now I postdoctoral research. And the 
I thank you to quem paga as contas, <laughs> the university, uh, some collaboration, laboratórios de colaboração, Lab Mare, Lumian, laboratório de biologia celular do professor Alexandre, e here no UNESP, thank you, thank you. Let me see. Okay, so thanks a lot. Beautiful talk. Very, very impressive. Uh, so the floor is now open for questions, comments. Is someone? Okay. Maybe you can say your name and something, where you're from, and etc. Um, voy a hablar en español primero, okay. and después en portugués. Um, mi nombre es Clemencia, yo soy originalmente de Chile, pero trabajo en la UERJ en Río de Janeiro, donde vivo hace 10 años. Soy profesora asociada este año de la UERJ, eh, soy física de altas energías, soy miembro de la colaboración CMS en el CERN, eh, y soy mamá de dos hijas lindas, preciosas, que las dos son cariocas. Um, a minha pergunta é, onde que você fez a sua graduação que tinha creche na universidade? Porque eu estou muito chocada que na UERJ não tem creche. Um, I, I Sim, é, onde hizo su sua primeira graduação? É, que tem é, é, daycare, é, guarderia para os niños, Porque na universidade onde eu trabalho, na UERJ, la estadual de Río de Janeiro, no hay guardería, guardería. ni para los profesores ni para las alumnas. Estoy, estoy ahí hace 10 años y todavía no me supero el shock. I study at Federal University of Alagoas. And there, there are this daycare for two years old until six years old. Just after six. Nothing, and, bef in, and after six years old, you have nothing to, send them to school. <laughs> you, you, you put in there, and she, she, ela cresce. She has to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Após seis anos, ela cresce. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 live, I live it very differently, and, and I'm uh, you know, uh, very lucky because I, I'm a, a professor, so I, I receive. Um, uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, monetary uh, help to pay for daycare yes. outside, and to uh, and now they also have auxilio educação, so to pay for the uh, private school, yeah, a little bit, so so that I don't uh, spend all my my money because Rio de Janeiro is very expensive. Yes. But it's shocking that the students don't have help, and and they have to rely on the um, family network. Yes, right. But it is not all Brazil. It's like that. In some places, it's different. Yeah, exactly. This is my experience, not general. So it was open for all students, and there, were there many students with kids there when when you were a student? No, because the I, I, I eu vou ser sincera. Many of mainly women give up of the university because we don't have uh, help from this. Acho que eu vou falar em português. Até os dois anos, a mulher não tem o que fazer. Então, ela geralmente desiste porque nasce durante a graduação. Então, ela para o curso e nunca mais volta. Porque é só a partir dos dois anos. E, e, e depois desses dois anos, continua difícil. Sandy, uh, congratulations for your nice presentation. I am very proud to listen to hear and a black women, young women presentation this conference. For me, it's very important because I am black women. I, I pass for very difficult like you. Now I speak in Portuguese because I speak too much <laughs> and I prefer to speak in Portuguese, okay? I speak slowly, I promise. <laughs> Um, eu estou muito feliz, muito contente de ver Sandy nesse congresso falando com a gente. Porque Sandy, 
como Carleane, que vai vir aqui também, meninas negras falando de ciência para a gente. Então, assim, antes eu era sozinha. A primeira pessoa que eu encontrei foi Catemari, que não está nesse evento, mas estava no outro. Depois foi Sônia. Depois foi Sandy. E aí eu fui encontrando as outras mulheres negras. E o que a gente tem que fazer é criar uma rede de apoio. É estar juntas, porque se uma traz a outra, traz a outra e traz a outra. Então, nós precisamos caminhar juntas. Nós precisamos estar juntas. E ver vocês aqui é muito emocionante. Porque eu sei que agora eu posso aposentar, porque eu sei que as meninas estão aí, elas vão dar conta do recado. Sabe? Então, assim, e a Sandy, ela não falou, mas ela também está num grupo com a gente, que é o Parent Insights, onde a gente estuda os impactos da maternidade na carreira. Então, como é que isso impacta? E como é que a gente acha que as agências de fomento, amanhã, a Maria Lúcia vai estar aqui do CNPq, e aí eu sempre gosto de falar, né, CNPq, FAPESP, para falar para as agências fazerem as chamadas, né, os call, pensando nas mães da ciência, pensando numa parcela da ciência que precisa, porque não adianta você dar oportunidades iguais, você tem que pensar em equidade. Então, a gente tem certas condições específicas. Então, ver vocês, meninas, aqui falando, falando de ciência para outras pessoas, para a gente é algo muito feliz. Então, parabéns. Eu assim, vou falar no, no longo dos dias muita coisa, eu vou trazer alguns efeitos, algumas fotos, para a gente ser nostálgico, que eu gosto de contar um pouquinho de história. Mas, assim, eu fico muito feliz de ver você, Sandy. E eu vou mostrar a foto de Sandy no passado, Sandy no outro evento, Sandy conversando e eu explicando aqui. Então, assim, uma encoraja a outra. Ah, mas eu não sei inglês. Eu... Não, vamos aprender um portunhol. Eu estou ensaiada de portunhol. Estou hablando umas palavritas. Então, assim... Eu... <risos> eu... <risos> então, assim, vamos juntas, entendeu? Uma ajuda a outra, uma ajuda a outra a caminhar. A Eloá, que chegou agora, que eu queria mostrar, a Eloá falando ali, soletrando, contando algumas palavrinhas. Então, a gente tem que estar de mãos dadas, uma dando força. E assim, é assim que nós vamos crescer. O medo faz parte, mas a coragem é o que a gente ganha umas junto com as outras. Sandy, eu estou tão feliz, mas tão feliz, tem outras coisas também, mas eu estou tão feliz assim, que eu não estou me cabendo aqui, tá? Então, parabéns para você. Can I speak in Portuguese? I don't speak English very well. Uh, my, <laughs> my name. <laughs> Meu nome é Carleane e eu tenho 32 anos. Estou fazendo pós-doc em física também. E é a primeira vez que eu vejo uma pesquisadora parecida comigo falando da trajetória da pesquisa que ela faz. Então, eu sou chorona. <laughs> Então, eu estou um pouquinho emocionada, porque eu conheci a Sandy das redes sociais e eu conheci um pouquinho da história dela. E a história dela é muito bonita. Então, nas redes sociais, a gente criou um vínculo, mas ver ela aqui, pessoalmente, metendo inglês, assim, <risos> falando o trabalho dela, ver ela no postdoc, ver ela indo, parece que sou eu que estou indo também, sabe? Eu fico muito emocionada e eu te agradeço, Sandy, por você estar aí. tá? Eu fico imaginando que talvez a Carla, que fez graduação, se eu tivesse na sala de aula e eu te olhasse como professora, talvez teria sido mais fácil. Obrigada, é só agradecer mesmo. Obrigada, Obrigada Carla. É, posso falar em espanhol? Eh, bueno, porque estoy muy, muy contenta que hay muchas personas de Latinoamérica y nosotros aquí en Brasil no tenemos muchas oportunidades de encontrar personas de otros países. Entonces, bienvenidos, bienvenidas aquí a Brasil. Eh, bueno, también ya conozco a Sandy de, de primeramente de las, las red, redes sociales. Um, uh, Disculpame porque mi español es colonizado. 
Uh, pero estoy muy contenta porque uh, Sandy es una cientista que es muy... que yo en mi trayectoria como una investigadora de la historia de la física en Brasil principalmente, um, yo he aprendido mucho con, con Sandy porque no sé si ella, cuando yo salí, no sé si ella dijo, pero ella también es una, alguien que, um, alguien que, sí, <risos> é uma divulgadora científica, né? Ah, tá, divulgadora científica. E porque la, la, la español y el portugués son parecidos, entonces a veces tengo dudas. Um, y bueno, también estoy muy, muy movida con su presentación. Um, y es eso como, como Celia dijo, que nosotras estamos aquí para ayudarnos. Y bueno, yo que estudié un poquito de la, la historia de, Brasil, de la física en Brasil, uh, no sé cómo es hoy porque no soy física, soy periodista, pero uh, hubo una, una la, la historia que yo estudié, uh, hubo una, una época que había una... una Uh, contribución eh, entre los pesquisadores de, de física uh, en Latinoamérica y pienso que esto es muy, muy valioso, muy uh, rico para que nosotra, nosotros y nosotras podamos um, hacer una ciencia que sea para Latinoamérica. Y creo que, que Sandy está en este, en este trabajo y bueno, um, es eso, estoy muy contenta por ti. Muchas, muchas gracias. So, eh, Alba. I'm in charge of reading what is in the Zoom chat box. There are people connected from Universidad Colima de Mexico and from Sao Paulo State. Um, there is someone called Rafaela, amazing talk. Sandy, congratulations. Y les hemos dicho, and I want you to tell them because you have the mic there, uh, please write uh, your comments and questions on the chat box. Yeah, we're still waiting for more. Pero yo, yo sí tengo una y la voy a decir en español. Eh, se habla entre las jóvenes cuando están embarazadas de cuáles son las transiciones en hacer ciencia. So when, when, you, when you talk to your peers and colleagues and you get pregnant, do you talk about those topics or you still just focus on science? Is the human part a factor in the social conversations or, or it is not part of it? Now, the, there is some conversation about these topics, but in, in the time I was pregnant, no. It's just like I'm not pregnant. One professor, even I, I fui até sete, oito meses, seven, eight months, and the teacher doesn't know, didn't know, that I'm pregnant because I, I was so small and the, my, yes, Michelle was there. I was so small and the, when I disappeared in, in the other semester, no, not disappear, <laughs> no fui mais because I, I take a break. Uh, he asked me, why this girl who is curly hair and she, she was pregnant and she has the baby. And nunca notou, nunca. I don't know what he thinks, he thought in, in this time, but he never, never noticed that I was pregnant. In, in, in this time, at master, master not, in the beginning of uh, 
PhD degrees, I needed to levar minha filha para a aula. Yeah. Take, take my kid to classes. To class, and you, one professor didn't, allow. Didn't, didn't accept it, and I, I the whole, the, the, the child disconcentrated him. Oh. But she, she was so quiet in, in, in this class, not a not old professor, because she talked with various professors in, in my university, because some, some professor, it's okay. And uh, Iran, Professor Iran of uh, Statistics, uh, play with her in the middle of, uh, of class. Stop, you student, take the, façam os cálculos, que eu vou brincar. One of professor, but other. And I failed in this, in the subject, in the subject because oh. I, I, even the test, a prova, não pude fazer também, porque eu tinha que levar minha filha, ele não, não deixou. Oh, so how was it going back? Because you, you said you had to, you returned yes, many some, times. Yes. How was that? Did you have special, specific support for that? And it was, or not, like. No, I, I work from me. I work in dando aulas particulares, aulas em escolas pequenas. Juntava algum dinheiro e voltava. Aí parava, aí procurava outra coisa, voltava. And I'm here. I try to go on. It's hard. But wasn't it very hard for you to come back to work or to come back to the school? After you took a break, because you took many breaks, I will speak Spanish if you want. Mi pregunta es si no fue muy difícil para ti regresar a, a estudiar después de tantas breaks que tomaste. Yes, yes, but I love physics. I love physics more than y la the otra challenging. Fue Por qué decidiste tomar esos breaks cuando tu bebé nació? Because you, I, I don't have, uh, I didn't have support, and it's a baby. What what can I do? I I, I just to take care of her all the time. Yo hice lo mismo que tú, pero pensé que a estas alturas ya no pasaba. So, yo quedé embarazada. N now, en la, no, yo now que, she's 12 years old, it's no. more easy. <laughs> yo quedé embarazada en la universidad. Tuve mi bebé, pero nunca tomé un break. O sea, yo regresé a la universidad. Mi bebé tenía 15 días de nacido. Yo tenía un examen final de ingeniería industrial. Una hermana me ayudaba, no llegó. Cogí a mi bebé. Me lo llevé a la universidad, el profesor me prestó un sillón para acostarlo, lo acosté, estuve haciendo mi examen y le tocaba comer al bebé, me paré enfrente de la clase, le di de comer, le saqué los gases y regresé con mi examen, regresé al examen. Entonces, nunca, nunca tomé, nunca dejé de seguir estudiando. De hecho, me fui de postdoc a Suiza con dos bebés, una niña de dos años y su hermanito de seis, sola. Y sí, o sea, sí pude. Yo pensé que si dejaba de estudiar iba a perder tiempo y no iba a poder continuar. Gracias. I, I think there are many experiences about to be mother to be a woman in science. I, I, I don't want to say I choose because it's more than this. It's not the only I choose. I, I think I, I didn't have many choose, but I, th I always thought I'm come back. I'm come back because this is what I love. This is my dream. And the, I want to give to my daughters a better life, to my daughter. I, I have only one, <laughs> a better life, and that's it. Hola, Sandy. Voy a hacerlo en, en español lento y un poco y un poco en inglés por si no se okay. entiende. 
Eh, soy de Buenos Aires, eh, soy biblioticona, estudio computación. Mi pregunta, primero me encantó tu charla, I love it, I mean, es muy emocionante tu historia. En los últimos años, en last year, I've been speaking and talking, estuve hablando con muchas investigadoras, like women researchers in computer science, and heard the stories, heard stories as similar as, as, as yours. Um, I'm, um, sometimes I feel like sad that we depend on our own energies, our own decision, like yours and like hers too. No puede ser que dependamos de nuestras historias, historias personales que tengas fuerzas para continuar. In my case, for example, as a student, um, we had like a computer science um, council, like como un conjunta de departamento de computación. Lo mismo en la universidad. And the last year we started to demand these kind of things. O sea, las mujeres empezaron a juntar y a pedir espacios. Um, logramos tener un, como una sala de jardín maternal, como es like the maternity room. Yeah. After <laughs> many years, of course. We don't so my, have. Oh, my, my, my question is that one. I mean, ¿podés, como, después de ser postdoctoranda y ser profesora, ¿podés tomar un lugar de liderazgo? ¿Te ves a futuro siendo directora del departamento? proponiendo cosas, no, en serio, o sea, sí, realmente, sí. o sea, ¿qué, qué, has, qué? I try, I try. Tú, mi pregunta es, ¿qué sentís, cómo sentís a futuro, qué decisiones a futuro crees que vos, no quiero ponerte la presión en vos, pero creo que me conoces por tu historia lo que está faltando, entonces, ¿qué, qué políticas universitarias, vos como mujer y con toda tu historia, crees que puedes tomar un lugar de liderazgo o de autoridad y empezar a crear esos espacios? que no dependa en otra Sandy y su energía, ¿no? Porque otra por ahí no puede y se rinde. Entonces, y si alguien conoce otras historias en otras universidades, para que contemos, o sea, si se puede, se te va, yo creo, <laughs> que se debe poder. Sí, es amazing. Es un profesor, es un director, no sé, pero he participado desde Parentes en Science, y trabajamos desde internship, fellowship for mothers and another, another actions in this way, but also I participate in Black Person Institute of Alagoas and we made some actions to black population in this state. And I, I, I tried to occupy some space in the university and in the social luta, luta social, social struggle. And this is my way. I, I try when I have power, maybe I can, can, I can do other things to others, mothers and black people at all at Brazil. Now, Marcia, who was one of the organizers of the previous uh, meeting here, she's in government now, and I hope that she can advance. I mean, she's been always very active in the case of gender and science, so I, I hope that she will help advance with some policies. So maybe there is room for one last question. If not, yeah, sure. Voy a hacer esto en español. Este, bueno, pues en el caso de Ecuador, en la educación pública, eh, es bastante caro cuando tú pierdes una materia o un curso, regresar a tomar ese curso. Es alrededor de 150 dólares por curso que tienes que pagar para regresar. Y esto en los primeros años de, de la universidad, del pregrado, hace que mucha gente se rinda. Eh, en, en Brasil, o donde tú, en la parte en la que tú estudiaste, es similar o o no o es distinto. So uh, what he's saying is that you have to pay if you if you drop the course it's public and universidad pública. So they, oh. you have to pay. So public no. universities no. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't pagar el si eres no pay. They should they should un curso y quieren voltar. They don't pagar $130 to go back. So no, no. In, in Brazil you have to The formal way, the formal way is to trancar. How can I say trancar in English? No, trancar. It's a formal, formal administrative. 
process. You you go to to there in secretary and the assigning some documents. But in my case, I have another problem because the people who attends me, que me atendeu, doesn't didn't believe that I'm come back and they they don't eles não deixaram basicamente e aí eu tenho um semestre one one semester of zero 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 because it's this semester in my history history oh. academic okay. once one semester yeah with then your grades yes yes the yeah yes of your grades oh affect gosh. the yes stop to stop yes oh gosh that's amazing and then you couldn't complain then you couldn't complain yeah. okay so there are lots of things that we have to think about because there are many realities like in Argentina public universities are free and you you don't have to be taking courses. I mean, you, you can keep on being regular, dropping for uh, two years or so, and you keep on being regular, so. Okay, so we have the coffee break now, I think. Is that right? Thank you. And <laughs> thanks, let's thank you. And so we, we can keep on talking over the, the uh, coffee break, yes. Oh, oh, I forgot. And we are giving Cindy a book. Ah, I love books. Thank you. Thank you. This is thanks to Cindy who brought it from Mexico. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something. This is a very interactive notice for this conference. Dear lecturers and participants of Increasing Diversity and Inclusion in Science, there will be a conference dinner on November 13, starting at 7 p.m. The dinner will be a courtesy by the Institute, which also includes one non-alcoholic beverage. Please find and close the map on how to reach that. Dinner, Bonibus Fast Grill, Alameda Santos, uh, 23, 9 to 3. So please keep in mind in your agenda for all the social arrangement that you are doing tonight that you have to be with us for the dinner at 7 p.m. <laughs> Good. Thank you.